Good evening, this is James. And this is a Fukubukuro from Village Vanguard. A little shop in the neighborhood. Sort of like Spencer's Gifts on Steroids or Hot Topic on Steroids, I guess. Speaking of an Ameri in American terms. They have all sorts of strange books and strange gifts of all kinds. And they're Fukubukuro. They're bags of random stuff. Secret bags of secret random comments of random stuff are only 3,000 yen, which is a pretty reasonable price. So, well, it's definitely more reasonable than the, the Ichiman, the 10,000 yen Fukubukuro I got from L.L. Bean last year. There's a jacket in that that I still use, but the jacket alone was worth Ichiman 10,000 yen, so I would have been just as well off buying just the jacket. This is the shirt that I got in that Fukubukuro, by the way, from L.L. Bean. This is the first time I've ever worn that shirt. Shows you how useful that Fukubukuro was. So, I have no idea what's in this. This is, uh, let's see. They left the themes on, they, they put a label on each bag for the theme of each bag. This one is Shihatsu, which is the term used for the first train to leave from the station in the morning. And it has a yellow handle, a yellow string handle. There's a different general theme for each color handle. I think the yellow handled bags are supposed to be funny and stupid. So I figured that would at least be entertaining, even if it's not anything I can use. So let's see what we have inside. What the devil? Okay, let's see what we got here. Huh. Money... Oh! <laughs> what? A money bank. Something like this is probably worth 3,000 yen on its own. Interesting. Oh, it's just a general... Just a general bank. With a nice... Sort of American theme to it. Well, this is interesting. This is very interesting. There's no... There doesn't seem to be any way to open it. So it's a real honest-to-God piggy bank that you have to break open to get at the cash inside. It has a little slot at the top, but no way to open it. So, what else? Ow! Staple. What else is in here? Oh, a little... A little satchel, a cute little satchel, a cute little Village Vanguard satchel, which actually looks like it would be a good size for the camera that I'm filming with right now, if only it were padded. If it were padded, I could use it for the camera. Is there anything inside? Probably not, but yeah, there's just stuffing, random stuffing inside. So a little stinky vinyl satchel with a Village Vanguard logo on the side. What the devil? Okay, this is, oh, a little golf set. A little toy golf set. And this appears to be a scarf, a very colorful scarf. Stole, a checkered stole, that's what it is. Scarf stole, same difference. What the hell? This is a boiled egg maker. So this would allow one to make a boiled egg in your microwave. Which seems like a neat idea. I mean, it's something that I would love if only I liked hard-boiled eggs, and I don't. I don't. I like scrambled eggs. I don't like hard-boiled eggs, though, so i got to find another way to use this. I don't know. Maybe there's something I can do. Bagels! If I put bagel dough in this thing, that might be a way I could use it. Hmm. Alright, so... Most useful th thing so far is the golf set. What's this? Glasses holder. A glasses holder. Hmm. Oh, okay, this... Huh. This is something imported from the States, it looks like. It's a glasses holder that lets you stick your own photograph of choice in there. Fun but completely useless toy. 
What else? Oh. Village Vanguard Press, newsletter sort of thing. Got ads for the Village Vanguard Fukubukuro Lucky Bags. And what is this? Matches? What is this? Oh, it's a tissue box cover. Made up to look like a matchbox. Yay. That is just so damn useful. And there's one more item in here that's kind of heavy. What is this? It's a desktop. It's a desktop grill. I've seen one of these before. Well, I've seen lots of these before. Where did I put that little cutter thing? Where did I put that cutter thing I used over here? Is I've seen these things before, like much larger ones that you can roast fish on, sort of like a circular barbecue tool. Is this for real? Yeah, it looks like it's for real. It's got a real... Huh! Sweet! Now this is definitely worth more than 3,000 yen on its own. And as soon as I can figure out what to use in this thing for fuel, I can have myself a little barbecue. Hmm. Yes, this is a little gap in the bottom for to control how much oxygen gets in. And it's honest to god ceramic. So it looks like it could take actual fire. And this is uh, good enough to, I don't know, roast a hot dog, roast a fish. So that might actually be usable. If I can only figure out what to use for fuel. Oh yeah, there's instructions in Japanese on the side. Cautioning, warnings, and so on. Interesting. I might actually be able to use this. Is there anything else in here, or is it just cardboard? Yeah, it's just cardboard. Huh. Well, that's what I got in my Kukubukuro from Village Vanguard this year. And on top of all that, I have something terribly boring that I need to get rid of. I have a whole lot of filing boxes. A little while ago I went to Ikea, or Ikea as it's pronounced in Japanese. And I got an honest to god filing cabinet after all these years. So I've got a whole bunch of these things. These things that are built to, most of them are built to hold hanging folders. They've got the little notches in the edge right here for holding hanging folders. Most of them are built to hold hanging folders. Some of them aren't. They're good for storing stuff if you need boxes to store stuff. I've got four of these here. I probably have a couple more in the room next door. So if anyone needs any of these filing boxes, let me know. And I hope you all have a happy new year.